Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. This week features the latest Gears of War 4 update. We're kicking off season three of the Forza Racing Championship, diving into Outlast 2, and much more. Now, let's get to the headlines. Forza Racing Championship Season 3, the Porsche Cup, started this week. This is a month-long event with two ways to participate. First is the Elite Qualification with Forza Motorsport 6, which allows you to participate in semi-weekly rivals or weekend multiplayer cup tournaments, or both. Then there is the Recreation Series with Forza Horizon 3. Here, you'll have the chance to participate in weekly Rivals events where you'll compete for the fastest lap time. It's May, so you know what that means, a new Gears of War 4 update. The update features two maps, including a brand new map designed by the Coalition called Dawn. This is an outsider village built around an abandoned mining colony and is defined by two defensive structures, the high ground of the bar, and the entrenched mine on the low side. Quick note, the drop shot spawn is surrounded by high and low flanks, so prep yourself for the chaos as you try to secure that all important weapon. The next map is security. The team knows how much you have been craving classic maps from Gears of War 2, and they have worked hard to bring you this fan favorite. This map has been updated to meet modern graphics and gameplay standards, with improvements that incorporate Gears 4's close cover combat, horde and proper support for respawn-based modes like Team Deathmatch. On top of the maps, there is new multi-GPU support for Windows 10 players, the inclusion of Gears 2's Benjamin Carmine as Zombie Ben Carmine in an upcoming May gear pack. There's even more great features and events included in the May update, so head over to news.xbox.com for more details. Destroyer of Worlds, Big Glowy Gauntlet, Wrinkly Chin, yeah, I've heard of him. Time to rock and roll. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is in theaters now, and to celebrate, I figured I would remind you all that you can grab the first episode of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series, now. The Telltale series of games are some of the best story-driven experiences out there, whether it's Batman, The Walking Dead, Tales from the Borderlands, or something else, there are a lot of great options to check out. Head over to the URL below for more information on all the Telltale games you can enjoy. I'll take you on. In case you missed it, a nice gameplay trailer recently dropped for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. The game is coming in September, so stay tuned for more details as they become available. Speaking of Capcom, the Capcom publisher sale is taking place now through May 8th on Xbox One and Xbox 360. The sale includes a massive assortment of games like Resident Evil 7, Devil May Cry Definitive Edition, and lots more. Mmm, that smells good, don't it? If you're on Windows 10, you can grab Resident Evil 7 as part of the sale. This game in 4K on Windows 10 is phenomenal and scary, trust me. Freedom Rewards is taking place now through June 15th. This is your chance to experience new games and earn rewards and exclusive prizes with special limited time offers from Smite, Trove, Fallout Shelter, Gems of War, and Battle Islands Commanders. Head over to the URL below for more details. It's time for Out Now. One of the big highlights of the week is the release of Prey. Last week, we mentioned a demo that was recently released, and if you haven't tried it, I strongly suggest it because you'll get a good look at the game. Oh my god! Security! Security! At its heart, this is the combination of sci-fi exploration and first-person horror genres. You're trapped on a massive space station in an alternate reality battling a variety of alien creatures some with the ability to transform into everyday objects on the ship. And trust me, that will scare the heck out of you at times. People will never understand what you can do. Combined with a massive number of tools, weapons, and side missions, this game has the potential to offer more than just a basic playthrough. You can certainly power through the main objective of the game, but you'll be missing out. One. So be sure to take your time, 
strategize, and enjoy the slight nuances the game pays to classic sci-fi movies and stories of the past. In case you missed it, Outlast 2 is out now. The first game was one of the best survival horror games I've come across, and this one thoroughly harasses you with even more scares and panic. This time around, though, the story is set up around a religious cult capable of truly horrific terror, and your goal is to find and save your wife. The world is certainly larger than the previous game, which makes maneuverability in the game more challenging. Hey, the outsider! Here's a quick tip. Since the world is so visually dark, it's really important that you stock up on batteries for your camcorder. That serves as your primary light source and documents everything you see. The first half of May's Games with Gold are out now. There is Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut on Xbox One and Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 for Xbox 360 and Xbox One through backward compatibility. Make sure you check back on May 16th for Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris and Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. New backward compatibility titles released this week available to play on Xbox One are Geometry Wars Retro Evolved 2, Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved, Bullet Soul, Bullet Soul Infinite Burst, Hard Corpse Uprising, Harm's Way, and Band of Bugs. Little Nightmares is out now. This is a fantastic and dark side scroller where you must escape the Maw, a grim world filled with corrupted souls looking for their next meal. Yikes. The visuals in this game are brilliant and the soundtrack is wonderful. Those features combined with the concept and gameplay mechanics make it a fun game that's easy to jump into if you like creepy games. Check it out. Then we have the release of Planet Base. Here you'll guide a group of space settlers trying to establish a base on a remote planet. Your task is to grow food, collect energy, mine resources, survive disasters, and build a self-sufficient colony in a harsh and unforgiving environment. Next is World to the West. This is a cartoony top-down action adventure inspired by European adventure comics. Take control of four unique characters, each with their own motivations, skills, and interweaving storylines as they seek to escape the dark shadow of an ancient prophecy. The Gears Pro Circuit Paris Open is taking place now through Sunday the 7th. Players from all over the world will be there to battle for a $100,000 prize pool. It has been a lot of fun to see the Gears Pro Circuit tour around the world and watch these pros deliver some of the most exciting Gears action I have ever seen. Tom Clancy's The Division is available to play for free now through Sunday the 7th. This is the first free play weekend for the game on Xbox One, so be sure to jump in on it while you can. If you like what you see, then be sure to grab the game while it's on sale. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>